Shalom, me homies. It's Alex from Formidable Felons. I'm here with a, another video about Mr. Lieutenant Keith Turner. I made this video a month ago, but my video processing software ended up not saving it. So here we go. Mr. Turner was a lieutenant over the YOs in the GP at Lowell Correctional Institution while I did my time and also a little bit after that, after I left. He was recently arrested and convicted of molesting two girls in his neighborhood and he was recently sentenced. He was not charged for beating Cheryl Weimar until she was quadriplegic and there's no, the DOJ said, sorry, the state attorney said they're not going to be pressing charges for that. So there was supposed to be a protest on his court date and I drove up to Ocala to visit and be there for the protest, but they, you know how courts work, they push things back. So of course they moved it over to Wednesday. That's when the jury trial was. So I was there by myself for Cheryl with my I stand up for Cheryl sign on Monday, standing outside of the courtroom, waiting for people to come in. I obviously wasn't um, able to bring the sign inside. So once it was time to go inside, I went upstairs, waited for Mr. Turner. And I was actually, um, I didn't know he was already inside. I hadn't seen him at all. And I was standing by the bathrooms and uh, he opened the door behind me. And he was like, excuse me. And I'm like, oh, please go right ahead. Dude left. After I left, the they didn't have much really going on during that day's meeting because they were just had a 10, 5, 10 minute conversation pretty much at the podium about it. And so he left that day and actually held the door open for me. And I was like, oh, thanks. You haven't done that since Lowell. And I told him that I hope that he gets the justice in this, in this chair. Blech. I hope he gets the justice in this charge that should have been granted for Cheryl as well. And I didn't want to bring any less attention away from why he was currently there because that is something serious in itself and these victims need their justice and to be stood up for. But I also don't want to get let Cheryl end up being forgotten about either when he's going to only be in the public eye at this point of time. So unfortunately I wasn't there for Wednesday's protest with Change Comes Now, which they did a great job. But I was there on Monday holding up my own poster, walking around Ocala. I stood in the garage of the Ocala courthouse, standing there with my sign for at least an hour or so, and every single person that enters the courthouse has to pass by me, so had to pass by me, so it worked out perfectly. I had a lot of people ask about it. And I'm going to be staying up more up to date with Mr. Turner and try and get more of a history of what's been happening, because there's a lot of people that I know personally and a lot of people that I've spoken to that have suffered at the hands of him so it's time we bring this to light and also that we keep it in the light this needs to be talked about there's these seven people shouldn't be corrections officers and they shouldn't be officers period i'm happy that we're able to give these kids some justice and that he was actually convicted and able to spend his time where he actually belongs and some of the medicine that he was given out will be pushed on him now so that's my short little story about mr turner 
and I will um, add it to what you guys want to see next. Shalomi homies. See you later.